Jeff Sadler here, and I'm at the courts today for the photo shoot of the 31st annual Ozarks Basketball Preview. We're here with cover selection Courtney Shipley from the Bradleyville Lady Eagles and her head coach, Autumn Thomas. Congratulations, and thanks so much for being here. Thanks for having us. You're welcome. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Very deserving girl. Okay, so I want to look back at last year. Had a 23-5 and record overall and 6-0 and in the Mark Twain Conference. Ran the conference. Coach, talk a little bit about last season. Uh, we had a really good season. Uh, like you said, 23-5. and um, Conference teams, um, we, we just – uh, it, it, we did good against them. I mean, you know, we, you know, worked hard in practice, and we knew what had to be done, and we got it done. I mean, I thought we, you know, we had some tough games. We didn't win, you know, so, a few games. I thought we should have won, but we didn't. But we just, I thought we had a good season. Yeah, and you did, and and you came to the district finale against Couch. Tell us about that game. That one didn't end the way we wanted it to. Um, I thought that, you know, my girls, you know, gave all they had. Um, we just we just couldn't get it in gear that night. You know, our defense was a little lacking, and, of course, they were hitting shots that I don't know that they had hit <laughs> before in games. You know, uh, one of their players averaged four points a game, and she ended up scoring 18. So, I mean, they had a really good game against us, and it's just – you know, one of those things where we just didn't get quite in the gear we needed to be in. Sounds like it was just one of those nights. It was. It was. Okay. Well, Courtney, you had an outstanding year last year. Mark Twain, conference MVP, um, first team all district selection, all state selection. What's it, what's it feel like being such a highly decorated athlete? I mean, it feels good. It feels good to have the support from my coach and my team and my parents and things like that. So just a good accomplishment for me. Well, that, that, that is quite an accomplishment. I mean, all state. I know that you had quite a game in that district finale last year. You had, uh, if I remember correctly, 11 threes in that game. Was that mm -hmm. right? Scored 40 points, both school records. Is that right? Um, not in the district finale, just the d in districts. It was in district. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, quite a game. You set, what, three school records in that game? Two, I think. She had 51 points total, and then she had 11 threes, which was a school record. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I know that you have numerous records in the Misha uh, record book that uh, you threw in there last year. So, um Tell me how you're looking forward to uh, the upcoming season. What are your thoughts? Um, my thoughts are that we're going to do good. We didn't lose anybody except one of our players. Just, But it will be good. We have a few upcoming freshmen. And then actually both of my sisters will be playing with me this year. So that's exciting. And then two of my cousins. So we can make like a starting five, which I don't know, I'm just excited. And we're going to do good. Well, that's it's a family affair, Bradley. <laughs> yeah. So uh, two cousins and then three sisters on the team. So does that look like the starting lineup? Uh, probably <laughs> not the starting lineup, but they all will be on varsity. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Well, that's something. I, I can't even imagine being able to have a brother on the team, and, or let alone two, <laughs> yeah. you know? Yeah. That's, that's outstanding. Okay, so have you played any AAU ball this summer? Um, yeah, I played with my team, Havoc, coached by Jess Hodges and Jerry Sawyer. So that was a good. We did good. We got second in all of our tournaments. We could never finish out first, but it was a good experience. How many games do you think you played this year? This year? Yeah, well, during the AAU season. Mm, 30, and then probably 30 with her. I was going to – and then that was going to be my next question. Oh. <laughs> so so did you get – you went out to some shootouts and some team camps? Uh, yes, we played – we went to the actual – the Sonic Freedom Shootout in Bolivar. We mm -hmm. played in that and ended up second in our – or in our group that we, we was in. And then we played in the – or we went to a team camp at UCM. So – and we did pretty good pretty good there too. So I was really impressed. Our summer ball, we um, 
I think we JV and varsity combined, we played 45 games over the summer. So we was really busy. <laughs> Gosh, that's almost like yeah. two two high school seasons, it really isn't it? Is. It really is, yeah. But you know, that's summer's what when season gets around, it makes things a lot easier if you work hard in the summer. And these girls, I think it's going to pay off for them this year. Has there been any one portion of your game that you've worked on this summer, Courtney? Uh, definitely my jump shots. Them are kind of a little, eh, but yeah, that's what I've been working on. Well, gosh, uh, you're quite a prolific scorer. You know, you had 687 points last year, and that uh, that's a, a whole bunch of points. You've got 1,564 points right now on the books and it, and you're about 642 I believe it is from breaking the school record so that uh, uh, just another season like you had before and you're going to be in the record yeah. books again <laughs> I'm excited about that I think I can do it and my team's going to help me with it so we're excited for it well I'm sure you are now tell me you is there any one game on your schedule that you look a little bit more forward to uh there's Blue Eye, there's, I don't know, uh, Mountain View Liberty. We're going to play playing at Sevo there, so that'll be a fun game. You get to play against Piper Francis, so that's always, right, Francis? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's always fun. And Blue Eyes Connor. So. Connor Patton. Yeah, mm -hmm. which Blue Eyes are actually our opener for the season, and they're one of our rivals kind of, so it'll be a fun game. Looking forward to that. Yeah. Okay, well, I'd be looking forward to the season opener just to be able to get out there and play. Yeah. So, you guys playing in the Mark Twain Conference don't necessarily get a lot of exposure that maybe other teams in larger conferences get. I know that there's pretty good basketball that's played in that conference, but do you guys, ha have you tried to uh, get some games with some, some bigger schools? Yeah, we, we do. Um, you know, our conference, of course, is – well, we have two actually that bumped up to a class two now. New Covenant and Esavo is in our conference, but we try to schedule. You know, we schedule um, Norwood and Mansfield, Blue Eye. We try to play class two, class three teams that way. You know, when it comes district and conference time, that we can be there at the top. So, but I think it's very important to play better competition because it makes you better as a ball club. Yes, most definitely, I'd agree upon that. So, anybody out there? Uh, Courtney, you want to give a shout out to? I don't know. My team, my mom and dad, my coach. Um, yeah, that's about it. Okay. <laughs> your, your coach is right here. You can, don't yeah. need to well, shout out to her. Shout All out. right. All right. <laughs> well, we're so happy that uh, you guys could be here today. I wanted to ask you, what what does it mean to you? How do you feel about being selected to be on the cover of the 31st Annual Ozarks Basketball Preview? This is one of my biggest – accomplishes to me I've this is what I wanted to like be able to do since my freshman year so I'm just very grateful and happy and blessed to be on it well you're very deserving and we're glad that you could come in and, and pick up this honor so for Autumn Thomas head coach of the Bradleyville Lady Eagles and cover selection Courtney Shipley I'm Jeff Sadler for the Ozarks basketball preview